home and uh, just like a little mini haul of what I picked up first we have the Allegria clogs patent leather clogs these are uh, kind of like career career shoes nurse shoes stuff like that I paid six bucks for those then I got a pair of men's Clark slip-on loafers pretty basic uh, I almost missed these in the thrift. These are Keen Presidio, I think. Women's, kind of like a red maroon leather hiking shoe. You can see the tread. Super nice, super clean. This is another pair I almost missed, and this is uh, Morel. I'm not sure. Normally, Morels will have the style right there, but you can see these ones just say dark brown. But uh, those were pretty clean. Morels always do good for me. Next up, we have a pair of men's Nike Dual Fusion ST3 running shoes. Uh, nothing crazy, but you can tell they're in really good shape. Um, super clean. Those should go do pretty well. This brand, I recently, well not recently, I've sold a few pair now. But this is uh, Ariat. Ariat or Ariat, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It almost looks like this weird... There, right there's the logo. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like an equestrian, like horse brand. These are riding boots, so those should do good. Uh, I picked these up because they were a tag sale. I think I paid, um, they were a dollar, a dollar fifty, just Dr. Scholl's. Uh, another career, casual nursing type deal. Uh, we have the the Vans Classics, look how clean those are. Like normally when you find Vans in the thrift store, they're beat, but these are these are super clean. This next item is Polo Sport. Now I read slash heard I think when uh, that Polo Sport is automatically automatically vintage. Like I don't think that they make Polo Sport anymore. They have Polo, they have Ralph Lauren. These are some weird looking shoes. They kind of look like Nike Prestos, but uh, I paid, I think these were three or four dollars. They almost look like dead stock. I mean, look at, there's no wear at all on them. They're clean, they're unique. They'll either do really well or they'll sit forever. For four bucks, so I was willing to try. Uh, these I just got back, I have to relist. These were uh, Morel Orbit Mocks. These always do well. And then I got a few shirts. This is probably the cleanest vintage shirt I've ever I've ever seen, let alone bought. We have the University of Michigan Wolverines. If you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. 1989. This this shirt's got no fading, no cracking in the design. It was definitely worth picking up for a couple bucks. Uh, then we just have a short sleeve Ralph Lauren. It was a tag sale. It was two bucks. And then I have this women's Brooks Brothers 346 jacket. Just super clean. It's got like that straight biker 
crop collar. I'm a, I should probably learn what this actual collar is called. Um, just a plain khaki jacket. Super clean. It's got a drawstring right waist. And uh, I think I paid $4 for this. It seems like Brooks, like men's Brooks Brothers does slightly better. But I always find the, the women's in really good condition. Wraps up today's video. Just a little haul. Um, I wasn't even planning on thrifting today. And it seems like those, those trips, those unexpected trips to the thrift store, that I might just even hit the local one. It's cool because, you know, I picked up like 12 items that I wasn't, you know, counting on getting. And they were all like good items. Too. <laughs> it's like those trips that you don't force. Sometimes you go out and you're like, you're like, today I'm sourcing. So you'll buy a boatload of stuff. And when you're starting, like when you haven't picked up anything yet, sometimes you'll grab something that doesn't meet your, your standards, you know. Like, oh, I can pick this up for a couple bucks. It's a $15 sale. And, you know, you got to do that sometimes. You have to have, like, the small sales to supplement the big ones and so that you have listings going up consistently. But the days where you don't have to thrift and you unexpectedly find yourself there seems to be, like, the days that I always find fire. It's cool because, you know, I, I think I spent, like, 20 or 30 bucks at each store. 60 bucks, 12 items. Maybe not. I feel like I, it was less than that. But you know, four or five bucks an item, and they were all what I consider to be like items worth buying. So anyways, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.